My name's Kevin Steed. Subscribe to Hill Steven on YouTube.com or I'll come to your house and ruin your life. Hey guys, what is up? It is I, your boy Heel, back at it again with a new video. So big breaking news came out today from JBL. Turns out JBL will be stepping away from his weekly announcing duties over at SmackDown Live. Today on Twitter, JBL wrote the following in quote, After much consideration, I will be stepping back my weekly role as SmackDown announcer to dedicate more continuous time on the work I have done since 2010 with at-risk kids and communities. My new schedule will allow me to continue to be part of the WWE family and also continue my work that I feel is the most important thing in my life. He also adds on by saying, end quote, I will continue my 20 plus year relationship with WWE and will appear on such marquee shows as Tribute to the Troops, WrestleMania, amongst others. Now, apparently back in May, he did tell WWE officials that he would not be resigning under the same terms when his deal expired. Now, overall, JBL decided to step down on his own to help out at risk kids and to help out communities that may not have the same resources that we may have, I think overall is very, very admirable and I commend him 100%. My hat's off to him. Now, the big question here that everyone has been asked ever since this news broke out, who is going to replace JBL on SmackDown Live? I've been hearing people say all day, oh, bring back Maul Ronaldo. Now it's time to bring back Maul Ronaldo. And to be honest with you guys, I think Maul Ronaldo is sitting nice and tight over there on NXT with Nigel McGuinness and Percy Watson. Besides, I really don't think Vince would really want Morrow back on the blue brand. I always felt that their plan on SmackDown Live was to always make Tom Phillips the head play-by-play -play announcer on SmackDown Live. I think that would be the plan still going forward. If it was up to me, believe it or not, I would have a two-person team. In this case, Byron Saxton and Tom Phillips. That's just me, of course. If they really want to add a third person, why not add Renee Young? Hey, SmackDown Live is supposed to be the land of opportunity, right? Or if not, bring in Jerry Lawler. But nonetheless, it'll be very interesting to see what are they going to do over there at SmackDown Live with JBL now being gone. Drop a comment down below your thoughts on JBL stepping away from commentating on SmackDown Live to help out at-risk kids and communities out there. Who do you see taking this place? Follow me on Twitter at HeelSteven. Make sure you like all my videos. And as always, hate, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, I'm HeelSteven. And remember, it's wrestling and whatever.